Final Fight 1 on the GBA. Final Fight 1 is a port of one of the first and the best beat-em-ups of all time. Like many GBA games, it seems to be based at least partially on the SNES version of the same game. As such, it's missing a few things. Most notably, all the female enemies have been removed and replaced with random street punks. On the upside though, it has restored a few of the things that the SNES version missed. First off, it has all three playable characters from the arcade original, plus unlockable Street Fighter Alpha versions of Cody and Guy. Not only that, but the industrial stage that was absent in the Super Nintendo version has also been restored here. But beyond those restorations, this game also includes an addition all its own, in the form of dialogue scenes with the bosses. Whether this is a plus or a minus is really up to you. I thought they were pretty lame and unnecessary, but I can't really fault them for adding new stuff, especially since you can skip it if you want to. The graphics are pretty good in this port, but the characters are too big on screen and their colors are not as good as their SNES counterparts. Still, as one of the first games on the GBA, it looks pretty good. The music is also lacking a bit. Many of Capcom's ports to the GBA seem to suffer from poor music conversions, which is strange since they tend to have some of the best music. Now I realize that the SNES sound chip was a lot better than the GBA one, but they could have done better than this. It's likely that this is also because it was early in the GBA's lifespan, but it's still disappointing. On the upside, the game does save after every level, which is a nice addition when making a game portable, and it also adds a bunch of unlockable stuff that you can earn by beating up a specific number of thugs. None of the unlockables are too exciting besides the alpha versions of Guy and Cody that I mentioned earlier, but if you're going to play the game anyway, I guess a couple of small unlockables give you a little extra motivation to keep going. The overall control and just general gameplay of the game are pretty much as they should be. The screen does feel too close and it can make it a bit harder to fight large groups, but overall the gameplay is pretty much exactly the same as the SNES version. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Super Nintendo game had many flaws and missing features, but the biggest omission in my opinion was the ability to play two-player co-op, which has thankfully been restored here. Obviously you have to play via the link cable, which means you need two copies of the game, plus a link cable, and two GBAs, but it's great that they gave you the option. Beat-em-ups are way better when played with a friend, and as far as I'm concerned, it's really the only way to play them. Overall, this game is a passable version of Final Fight, but it gets way too much love from the big gaming press. I played it specifically because I heard how awesome it was, and while it's a good game, it's not the best translation of the arcade game to date, as one reviewer from a major website said it was. That honor goes to the Sega CD version in my opinion, which added cutscenes and great audio. But I'm getting off topic. If you want your fix of Final Fight on the go, I'd suggest you skip this one and find the PlayStation Portable version of Capcom Classics Collection Remix, which contains a port of the arcade version, which is far superior to this one. That being said, if you don't have a PSP, this is a decent substitute, as long as you have a friend to play along with. I'll see you next time on... Game Quickie.